A pleasant day to all of us. As we are about to begin, I would like to introduce myself first. I am Jana May M. Hippolito from the Strand of Humanities and Social Sciences. Beside me is my very energetic and supportive plant partner. His name is Elpis. His name came from the Greek mythology Goddess of Hope. But why is this talking plant beside me named after the Greek Goddess of Hope? You'll find out why. We are very much excited to welcome everyone on our first ever virtual United Nations celebration with the theme International, International Year of Plant, Plant Health, Health. Protecting, protecting Plants, plants protecting, protecting Life. life. So Elpis, what is your relevance in this year's celebration of United Nations? Well, my role in this year's United Nations celebration is to spread awareness about my significance in your daily lives. I am the source of the air that you breathe. Therefore, because of me, you are alive. So, to officially start our program, may we request everyone to bow our heads, close our eyes, and feel the presence of our Creator through a song prayer. And may we remain silent and attentive for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem to be followed by the SPC hymn.
Kababayan, ang Pambansang Awit ng Pilipinas. celebration of United Nations, we are pleased to have our very supportive, approachable, and hard-working senior high school principal, none other than Professor Araceli M. Ortega, to give us her opening remarks. Hello everyone! Today is the culmination of our United Nations celebration. However, please allow me to say something about United Nations. In 1945, after experiencing the horror of World War II, 50 leaders from different parts of the world gathered in San Francisco to build an organization which aims to stop the war from happening again. They call it the United Nations. 
It is an organization that believes in a world where nations can resolve their differences peacefully, promotes dignity and human rights, and fosters social and economic development. Now, the world is at war again. But this time, we have a common enemy, and its effects are much more devastating. Lives were lost, economy is low, and everything is uncertain. And it is happening right before our eyes. However, as the coronavirus spreads to more countries, so does solidarity among people everywhere. For its part, the United Nations continues to help countries counter the outbreak, protect the most vulnerable, and promotes the spirit of cooperation. Countries also work together to ensure that everyone will have an equal access to a COVID-19 vaccine. So as long as the nations of the world work hand in hand in fighting this deadly virus, then we can be assured that there will be hope of winning against this enemy. And there will be a better future for the next generations. Congratulations to all the winners and thank you so much to all the teachers who are exerting so much effort in making this United Nations celebration possible. Good day and stay safe everyone. Thank you Professor Ortega for those wonderful remarks. Moving right along, let's look back to the contest that happened two weeks ago, the Extemporaneous Speech and Digital Art Contest. Here are the highlights of the contests. We conducted our virtual Extemporaneous Speaking Contest last October 12 via Zoom and it was broadcasted live on our school's Facebook page. For the Digital Poster Making Contest, Participants sent their entries through email and their works were posted on our Facebook page. People voted for their favorite digital arts through reacting to the post and those votes were added to the total scores of the judges to determine the winners. Seems like we are very talented participants, haven't we? The judges will surely have a hard time choosing who will win. And now? We will witness a very powerful intermission number from selected pupils in the senior high school department. Let's give them a virtual round of applause. There's a place in your heart and I know that it is love. And this place could much brighter than tomorrow And if you really try, you'll find there's the need to cry In this place, you feel there's no hurt nor sorrow There are ways to get there, if you care enough for the living Make a little space, make a better place Make it a better place For you and for me and the entire human race There are people dying If you care enough for the living A better place for you and for me It only cares for joyful giving If we try, we shall see In this place we cannot fail Fear of dread, we stop existing and start living And then it feels that always Love and no for us growing So make a better world Make a better world But 
That's a wonderful performance! We will now proceed to the announcement of winners for the extemporaneous category. But before that, we would like to once again thank our judges for that event. Miss Jessica Castala, Miss Cinderella Iniego, and Mr. Mike Allen Religioso. And for the winners, in third place, congratulations to Vanessa's Mundo of STEM! In second place, congratulations to Sharon May Umali of ABM. And for the first place, congratulations to John Dexter Bulan of Humes! The winners will receive medals and certificates. Once again, congratulations to our dear winners! I am pretty sure that most of our viewers love K-pop. Right oh now, yes, please? I love BTS. Oh really? Yes! Then you guys are lucky because our next performer is an organization that was established back in 2017 with the help of Nina Maika Pauline Arceo, the club's first president. One of the things that encouraged her to create this club was Vogue Entertainment, inspired by her experience in joining various competitions with the theme of Korean pop. This club was seen performing in different school events such as the United Nations 2019, Acquaintance Party of Senior High School Department, College Night, and PGM 2020. And today, we are lucky because we will witness another superb intermission number from our very own After School Hallyu Organization.
to another announcement of winners, this time for the Digital Poster Making Contest. But before that, we would like to formally introduce the Board of Judges for this event. Ms. Ariel P. Baudin, Mr. Rogen Chris Librero, and Ms. Miriam F. Madia. 
and for our winners in third place. Congratulations to Kayla H. Ginto of Arts and Design. In second place, congratulations to Jan Kian B. Reglos of Arts and Design. And for our first place, congratulations to Nicolette Espineda of ABM. Our winners will receive certificates and medals. Once again, congratulations to our dear winners. So Elpis, I heard that some of our beloved senior high school faculty members prepared a very heartwarming song number for all of us. Are you ready to hear them sing We Are The World? Of course I am. Let's give it up for the senior high school faculty members. <laughs> Gift of all. We can go on pretending day by day. That's one, somehow, and so we can change. We are all part of God's great big family, and the truth, you know, love is all we need.
Obstacles you stumbled on Someone to help you rebuild after the rope's gone We are the world connected by common bond Love the whole planet singing alone from our beloved teachers is something to be very proud of. So come on guys, let's give them a round of applause. It is an absolute honor to share this platform with this year's United Nations Celebration Chairman, Mrs. Laurinel C. Arbon, for her closing remarks. My warmest greetings to our beloved principal, Professor Araceli M. Ortega, to the academic heads, to our multi-talented teachers, parents, and our dearest students. Good morning to all of you. This year's theme for United Nations International Year for Plant Health is very relevant for Filipinos. We even call ourselves plantitos and plantitas. In that case, we probably know that plants help us in every single way. Plants certainly help us reduce poverty, protect the environment, and even boost the economic growth. At this juncture, I would like to extend my profound gratitude to our dear principal, Professor Araceli M. Ortega, who supported us all throughout the activity. To Sir Kim De Vera and Sir Jai Raklan for technical assistance. To my dearest co-teachers who gave their time and talent in our intermission number. To the student performers who equally perform just like our dear teachers. To the participants who spared their time to draw and study the theme for this UN celebration. To my determined and supporting social science teachers, and most of all, to you, who's watching our finale for the UN celebration. Thank you so much. Despite of the pandemic, let us always remind ourselves to thank God, not only for what we have, but more of what we can give. 
The purpose of UN is to have a permanent structure of cooperation. Indeed, I have observed cooperation within SPC community bringing this wonderful activity. Just to remind us that no matter what happens, SPC will give more for their students. God bless SPCians. Thank you, Mom Arpon, for sharing with us your valuable insights regarding this year's celebration of United Nations. To give thanks and praise to the organizing committee for this event, we would like to present to you the people behind the success of this year's celebration of United Nations. For your untiring support and effort, our dearest teachers. Before we end this, we just want to remind everyone that if we plant the right seeds, our future will be sufficient. If we start giving importance to our plants and trees, we will surely have a prosperous future ahead of us. Again, I am Elpis, a plant inspired by the Greek goddess of hope, and I am here to remind everyone that there will always be a sprout of hope in our environment. One day will not be enough to make our earth in its full green again, and one person cannot make these earthly changes in just one snap. Always, always keep, keep in mind, mind that where the, where the flowers, flowers bloom, the, the hope, hope is in there. there. Promoting, Promoting our, our plants health is equivalent to feeding our body and soul the life, the life that is beyond our pace of growth. Of growth. Ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up our program on behalf of San Pablo Colleges. Thank you for making time in your busy schedules just to be with us this morning. Let us all together sing the SPC March!